Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. I have to let you know of something very secret. I'm doing the best reaction ever tonight. Hey guys, welcome to Serene Vocal Studio. I have an exciting reaction for you today, but before we get started, please subscribe, hit that button, ring that bell, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. All right, this reaction was a request from my subscriber, Chelsea. Thank you so much, Chelsea. She messaged me personally and said, you have to listen to this. She's like, I watched one of your videos and then I went down into a rabbit hole of watching reactions and I found this song and you have to react to it. And I said, done, of course, for you, anything. Now, let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> Darkness, my own friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left its scenes while I was sleeping, and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence in restless dreams i walked alone you guys i'm sorry i have to pause because can we please acknowledge the gorgeous lighting holy freaking crap this is some of the best lighting i've ever seen I love it. And did you notice his vowels and his gorgeous deep voice? His vowels. Listen to his vowels. Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to cold and damp When my eyes were stared by the flash of a neon light it's so clear in the night and touch the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe Talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs Woo! And voices never shared And no one dared Disturb the sound of silence that to hear the sound oh my gosh it just rang Do, and if you listen to this with headphones you will hear the vibrations and it oh it just touches the soul I love how in that last part he went into that head voice of his and he wasn't afraid of it he didn't push it he just allowed it and said hello head voice I love you it's so nice to see you and he did have a little bit of grit happening in his voice here and there but he seemed to tone it down to make it nice and straight to, to be very simplistic and not simplistic as in elementary, but as in simplistic so you can really focus on what's being sung and have a beautiful tone because that beautiful clear tone touches, touches us. For said I you do not know Silence like a cancer grows my words and I'm a high teacher. Take my arms and I'm a high teacher. But my words, like silent raindrops, fell and echoed in the wells of silence. 
soft or whatever amazing music touches me that's just that's just how it is okay that's just how it is I have a question for you what about what about his song when he goes into that gritty part of his voice is so touching that's when the tears start to fall my friends that is when when that sound happened oh my gosh he's so amazing that he could do that and to be honest I do not know disturbed and what I, when I say I'm, I don't know Disturbed, I mean I have not been super familiar with their songs. I might know a few here and there, just off, you know, just, just from sound, not necessarily like, oh, well that's a Disturbed song. I think you would because his voice is so unique. But the fact that he has the control over his voice to make it, like, he knows how to do vowels. He knows how to take the vibrato out of his voice. He knows when to put grit in, when to take it out, and oh my gosh, did he use that as a tool to make this song what it was. Now, I will have to say, I watched, before I watched this, um, a video called The Inside Story. It disturbs David Drymans, explains the band's cover of The Sound of Silence, and he talked about how they had come up with the idea of doing the sound of silence and then one of the members had, and I don't remember who it was, he had said, I wanna do it kind of stripped down. I don't wanna do what we normally do and make it really, really um, abusive, like in terms of like tons going on with the vocals and the band. They wanted to strip it down to make it that. And he said what was interesting was that you know, you have your normal disturbed fans, but then you also were getting into touching people who normally would not be into their music. Probably someone like me, because I'm not like into heavy metal. <laughs> um, some of these older bands that like are heavy metal and their song goes on for like 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my gosh, when are they gonna end? Um, I watched one of those the other day and I was just like, I don't know if I'm into heavy metal. Some of it I really, really like, but it's when it has like 10 minutes of just like, yeah, I'm like, uh, no. Um, but I think Disturbed made a really smart choice in, in choosing this song and choosing to do it how they did it because it really interested me. And I am all about singing ways purposefully. Why would you sing the sound of silence like the whole time, right? Why would you be like or whatever? Um, and that was not what he did. That was a bad example of maybe some shout singing. He did it in such a way that I think was musically intelligent, and I've used that term before. It's important to be musically intelligent, and that is the mark of a true musician when you can know when it is that you need to strip it down, when it is that you should add more vibrato, when is it that you should add some grit into your voice or some fry or whatever it is to make your voice unique to you and, and make the song, whatever song you're singing, whether it's a cover, whether it's your own, how you can really make it true to yourself, right? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps people find the channel so they can watch and, um, be amazed just like I was and hang out with me and I love more friends. So thank you so much for being here and I love you all. Please be safe and I will see you next time here at Serene Vocal Studio. Peace!